I'm Liam. I'm Wayne. You're listening to In Film We Trust YouTube. A place where we post clips from our recent episode. All links down below in the description. And now, on with the show. <laughs> Isn't it funny, you know, you get certain directors, like obviously this film Adventureland directed by Greg Matola, yet he also directed the, I would say a cultural phenomenon, super bad. Yeah, he yet did. how much he's gone under the radar. Well, do you know what's really funny? I thought for the longest time that it was Judd Apatow that did Superbad. Produced for some it. reason, oh, he produced it. It felt like his kind of film, like, you know, your knocked ups and your 40 year old virgins. It felt like, I think it was made kind of in the Judd Apatow mold, if you want to say that. Do you remember, like, round about the time when Judd Apatow was coming to be a, a big name in film and how they were on about, it's almost a celebration of the man child? Mm -hmm. I don't actually th see it that way. I think. No. There is a sophisticate. There's a sophistication in Adventureland, definitely. There is. When you say manchild to me, I think the worst of Adam Sandler films. Yeah. Because if I watch something like Forty Year Old Virgin, which I love, I think that's a great. It's a film, great film. I don't see him playing the manchild character. That's definitely not what I would call it. He he's very mature. Not not even like stunted development, but he's just been missing something yeah. in his life that's what you could say but that film was so good that see when it got towards the end when he starts being kind of a dick mm. i actually actively hated him because i liked how well his character was built up the, I was you liked the yeah i was annoyed at him when he started being kind of a douchebag so you liked the character development up to a certain point and then you thought when mm. he what well, would you say when he kind of almost socially normalized you started disliking him a little more it's almost when he became more like the other guys because another story yeah. of that film is um with those other people yeah uh, they were kind of douchey for quite a lot of the film, but they change as well. But near the end of the film, he starts being more like them in their worst phase. I see what you mean. Yeah, mm -hmm. he get, he kind of goes from being the outsider to it to part of the in crowd almost, Basically, and he takes yeah. on somewhat their characteristics. Exactly. The again, the worst of the characteristics. Yeah. But which did you prefer, Superbad or Forty Year Old Virgin? I prefer Forty Year Old Virgin. See, I'm a big Superbad fan, mm -hmm. and. I can see stylistic similarities with Superbad and Adventureland, obviously both directed by Greg Matola. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of the ways this film is made, they're shot very like, uh, similar. Do you find everything is shot very much from eye level? Mm -hmm. You're at the character's uh, point of view. Yeah. You, there's not a lot of crane shots f for like character development. No, not like drone shots. No. Or shots like it was. no, it's very much on the ground like you're an actual person. Yeah, and you're person in the crowd. Because you're seeing life through their eyes. Yeah, when I think of shots in Superbad, I think of a camera moving slowly and them walking in like slow motion towards the camera. So what was your, because you're not obviously keen on Superbad, what was your dislike or just not? I, th I think my biggest hang up was a lot to do with Jonah Hill's character, who I found, not so much the second time, the first time especially, I found him incredibly overly obnoxious maybe because i've met people like that and i just couldn't stand them do you find them too forceful and bullish maybe? yeah there's way too much it's that kind of thing where i think why are these people even hanging around with them because their personalities are yeah very very different but I like a lot of the jokes were great there was a lot of fantastic one-liners the cops played by bill hader and seth rogan they were fantastic bill thought, hader fantastic in adventure land yeah fantastic in adventure land yeah um but i thought those two were both great especially the thing with them and McLovin, yeah. who McLovin has basically the best night of his life well, hugging the, with these two cops. The Irish gangster McLovin. Yeah, <laughs> McLovin. <laughs> One name? What do you seal? Like, lines like that were really funny. Uh, Interestingly, though, mm -hmm. one of the stars of Superbad, Michael Sarah, one mm -hmm. of the stars of Adventureland, Jesse Eisenberg. Mm -hmm. Two actors who are often confused for one another. They are. And often both kind of pigeonholed into similar roles as well. Well, Greg Matol was asked, he said, why Why did you choose Jesse Eisenberg over Michael Sarah?" Which is quite a bizarre question to be asked. And so. he said, well, Jesse Eisenberg, he had a more of a maturity. He was an older actor, which mm -hmm. is there much age difference. I know Michael Sarah's the same age, age as us. He's 33. Mm. Jesse Eisenberg can't be much older. He's not he? much older, but generally, because be, he'd be playing what, like uh, somebody in his late teens yeah. in this film, they never get, they rarely get people in late teens. It's usually people like kind of mid to late twenties, isn't it? Yeah. How old would you say they are in this? Because they're post-college. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so post-college. maybe early twenties, possibly. Yeah. But is college uh, like in America just a couple of years or is it just one year? I don't know with Americans. Not really. sure, but it'll You're be... a confusing people. <laughs> but it would be late teens, early 20s, would say. So, obviously, with Adventureland, Greg Matola, he, he started his film career with a film called Day Trippers, which I'd never, I've never seen. I've never you? seen Day Trippers, no. But that's, it's similar vein, very independent, very 
would you say, a comedy drama about relationships, it sounds like. Mm Mm-hmm. And then he would develop, obviously, into... Well, he wrote, actually, Greg Matola. Did you ever see a, a, a Judd Apatow actually produced a show called Undeclared? No. That was about the college experience, and he was actually one of the writers on that. Yeah. Which I think, well, you know, there were this weird show business. It's all about networking. You get in from the people you know more like, and that's obviously, I'm assuming, what led to Superbad. Yeah. Also, based on uh, a lot of Greg Matola's childhood experiences, because Adventureland, when I look up Adventureland, there are actually a lot of parks, because that's a good name for a park, isn't it? Yeah, it's, quite, it's generic. It's, yeah. You're having an adventure, yeah. and it's a piece Cause, of land. Because <laughs> there's several of them in America, and... Um, uh, this is where Greg Matola actually worked a summer, maybe more summers, but this has actually worked at a park called Adventureland in New York State. 